What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. That door leads to the west exit. But before you leave, we have much to discuss. Right. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Olympia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility.
The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and... and... Why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system, and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Actually, I wanted to discuss something else first. As you wish. 
All right. I guess it's time to go get a subordinate function. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh... Yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Yes. Or I could I also look around here some more. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now, and like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there is three of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else.
Severe. The land out here is sick with blight, too. But we'll be able to heal all of it once Gaia is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Knock settlement. I have to reach my step. Look like there's any way to clean this tunnel.
I'm getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Inside? Poking around's not going to be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten, you've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland Clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones, who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. Come, you have a soldier of the Ten. It's glitched, incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as, as best we can. Joint Force 10. Everything seems dense in here. Let's Trees, here. Battle. 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 The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the Chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Ten in the 
During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Soldiers enemy lines. What's this one about? The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the desert clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. It did. They sound a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. 
Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathalo will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Marshal Catalo will meet you at Stone Crest. If I'm gonna get Ether, I guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stone Crest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine.
What's this place? I've heard of... See my stash later.
Ground's getting steeper, air's getting cold. Should be getting close to Stonecrest. He must prove that in battle today. At least try. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Katara should be waiting for me, but maybe I should look around first. Hey, stranger. Are you looking Where's Katalo? What's he looking at? This valley is infested with Regalus rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Frugala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. Let's get this over with. Right. In the name me. of the pet, I don't fight. I'll give you a training later. How would you convince Takote to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect a blade. <laughs> and the strength of the fighter who wields it. But is anyone who likes that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Skyclan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other to knock the clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. Fireballs are raining around 
here. What you deserve. Can you relax a bit now? There. Fight with honor! Here! Back to battle! Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? And grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. Like this guy doesn't like me. I saw something shifting. Must have just been an animal. Get out there and look. Did anybody else see something? Jasper, can you False alarm. Call it off. We're up by. Start searching. Movement in the grass. This. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Good to go to. 
Sunday. I'll do the talking. We'll see how it goes. again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. This is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. A mission. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls, our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. And tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. We're here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? There's no need for that. That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. <sighs> just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. How? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall, near that waterfall. The water 
is flowing into the wall towards a hollow hole. Not so much a way I pry at them. This looks promising. Now, better scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. Catching snowflakes on my lashes. said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? Oh, don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the Rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. The Rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there, with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. Well, it looks like the Rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. The sky can okay, we'll march. march. For the fallen marshals! Yeah. Ah! Have you 
We can't have lost them! You're with me. Follow. My place is yours. Don't let them surprise you. Blade at the ready. No surprises. I've got a good feeling about this. Nothing here. Machines resistant to fire. Ballista could do some damage.
Before to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Mm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. After you. Hey. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive. But killing the rebels and the machine. It was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Snowfall is blanketing the land. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up? Well, go on. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working! Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you.
Done. Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The Bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns into Kote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out.
Cool. Picking up some speed. Moving.
Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Gotalo await you within. should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. This must lead to the arena. Another part of the ruins turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove you. We'll assist Marshal Katala with guarding the chief. We all have our orders. We'll see the cool route through. <laughs> the cool route will start as soon as. Plain song honors your name. This cool will take more than courage. It's 
clear Hikaru isn't afraid of Regala. Final battle This is where we'll make our stand. It's the your hand that made this happen, Outlander. Mr. Kote, this is of course. Mr. Kote fixed his ego before coming here. Okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of the stretch. But we must hurry. And look, we are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers, approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
I don't use it.
This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with her, Carl, will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Gala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now I get this back to Gaia. have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years The visions throughout the Grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. The one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world where
without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. Can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out.